I feel incredibly privileged to lend my voice to the the villain in uh, Disney's uh, anniversary film, their 100th anniversary film, Wish, with Ariana and Alan and Victor Garber and all these incredible talents and Julian Ben, who wrote extraordinary music, and uh, Chris and Fawn and Jennifer, all of these extraordinary animated uh, veterans. Uh, and specifically to play the the, the villain uh, and to add my name to a long list of, of, of really <laughs> famous ones is just great fun. Uh, I mean, Mowgli was uh, a highlight for me. I always wanted to live in a forest with a giant bear as a best friend and uh, date Ariel and swim under the sea and uh, make wishes with Aladdin and, and Lady and the Tramp and, uh, and Fantasia, which is this extraordinary work of art that kind of goes above and beyond being something just for children into the stratosphere of like surrealist art. So I, I grew up with, uh, with Disney just like most, I think, children in the world have. Uh, what is Magnifico like? King Magnifico is, uh, is, has got an inflated sense of himself. He thinks he's a pretty big deal. He doesn't have many friends. He's got uh, this poor wife that eventually sees the light and uh, uh, puts him in his place. Uh, he's a pretty insecure guy. He's very angry. Uh, and ultimately just kind of weak and, and insecure uh, at the end. In this kingdom of roses, this kingdom of wishes that he's created where people from all over the world come and uh, give him his, uh, their wishes for safekeeping so he can make them come true, uh, is this beautiful spot somewhere in the Mediterranean in the 12th or 13th century. And uh, it's gorgeous, and he runs it uh, as his... Uh, you know, as a, essentially a dictatorship we come to find. Well, Asha learns that, that King Magnifico is not, in fact, taking care of people's wishes. Uh, uh, he's granting wishes to make it seem like he's uh, doing uh, good work, but in fact, he's stealing the energy of all of these wishes uh, for himself. The best part about playing a villain is the freedom and liberty to, to go play and explore and have fun and you don't have to be the straight man and the, the, the audience surrogate. You get to be all the fun stuff that you never got to play when you were younger. Uh, this is the Thanks I Get, which is King Magnifico's uh, big villain song. It was so much fun to work on with, with uh, uh, Julia and, and with Benjamin. They created this wonderful song uh, about uh, a guy that's spending a lot of the time looking in, in the mirror and is... Uh, upset that he's not getting the recognition that he should be getting from all the people that he's taking care of. Uh, so it's, it's fun, it's, uh, there's comedy to it, you get to see deep inside this character and really what makes him tick and, and how obtuse and kind of uh, not self-aware he is about it. Um, it's just a great song and it was great fun to work on. So Star is a great character and, and uh, uh, is Asha's uh, best friend besides uh, her, her goat, her talking goat. Um, um, she wishes for, she wishes so deeply that a star actually descends down and it's of such great power that King Magnifico realizes the power that he could have if he held onto Star. But Star is too powerful for that and in fact Star helps uh, Asha realize how evil uh, this awful king is, and with the help of her, uh, its powers, is able to, to win the day. Well, Wish in Theaters, it's a visual uh, event, really, that shot in CinemaScope 255, this incredibly wide frame um, uh, image that they haven't done since um, Sleeping Beauty, something that's uh, really made for an audience. It's made to be seen on a big screen. It utilizes uh, old-fashioned watercoloring like uh, Disney did back uh, in the day, along with all the newfangled technology of 2023, all the CG. So it's that combination that gives this kind of textural uh, immersion into the screen. Um, incredible songs that I hear from everyone that's seen it that makes people make people laugh and applaud and stand up as if they're watching a, a live theater event. So. I think it's designed specifically for families to go out and to enjoy themselves over the holiday season and see something with a great message.